Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new here, make sure you take some time to look around at the different videos. Do me a favour, let me know that you're here by subscribing to the channel. Um, that way, interact, leave comments, send questions to me. That way we can um, get other stuff, videos created for you with the comments and that. And we'll be able to create more content okay so um today's video we are going to be looking at there's a couple of things i'd like to do so i'm going to do a bonus video this week the bonus video will be released on saturday and that that will touch on designing sheet metal in 3d um and then tuesday there'll be another video released and that'll be for automation okay so that's going to deal with part picking for uh, punching machines punch combo machines so all that sort of stuff we'll touch base on that but today I wanted to jump into punching right on the cam side of it we're not going to nest anything at the moment all we're going to do is create a part add some tooling we're going to create some tooling right so uh, you can see I've got Radan open here, <clears throat> right? So um, here, if, if I'm in Radan, you can see I've got part, I've got drafting, and I can after drafting I can come in and go to tooling, right? So here, if I go back to tooling, I can go configure, change machine machine tool, and select what machine I want to be on so here I've got the punch machine selected now this is a generic punch machine okay so just think of this if you were in Raiden and you had Raiden and but this punch machine could be a TC 5000 uh, 2020 TC 500 could be an Amada Pega Amada Coma EMK um, you know you name it all those kind of machines lvd punching fin power punches strippets weedermans or whitney's whatever they call it. i don't think it's called weederman anymore i'm not sure um marauders right so that's where you get all these um different punching machines and then you take that cam you take that cad and you add some tooling and then you get your code from there right so enough of me rambling on let's jump into it so here is the tooling I need to I'm going to create a part first right so Radan is geared around sheet metal right so I can click on specific shapes so if I don't have a 3d file or something come from SolidWorks or Inventor or Fusion that I was working on I will come in here and quickly make a shape <coughs> The reason being is because I can come in here and I can create a simple shape. So we're actually going to make this a bit bigger. 16 and we'll go 9.5. So I've just created a square. You can see this other square stays on my cursor until I cancel that out. I've cancelled that out and now I can go and select another one. Or even if you don't cancel it out, it will cancel out when I select another operation. So right here, I'm actually going to drop a hole in here. So I'm going to come in here and uh, go click on this. And we can do a circle. And I'm going to go with 0.750. And I'm going to hit origin. And I'm going to snap it in the corner. So when I put my dimensions in, it's starting from this corner. Right? And I'll click here, enter X and Y coordinates. And I'm just going to go 1.0 enter 1.0 oops sorry origin snap on there come in here go 1.0 enter 1.0 enter and there's my hole so now I'm just going to mirror this so I'm going to select mirror I'm going to do all four corners or corner repeat and then I'm just going to hit this corner hit this corner and click there we go 
you know what I might actually take these two holes out because I'm going to show you a couple of other options I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put a three inch hole hole and I'm going to do it in the center so I'm going to do origin and I'm going to go find bisection point snap snap and boom now that's in the center right so now I want to do a line down here and I'm just going to come in here and let's just start it here and here right I want to come in here and I might do roll something around here so let, let's do this um, I believe I can do this no I'm gonna do that differently I'm actually gonna go with a line and I'm gonna go here 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 and here nothing fancy right so I'm actually going to put a radius on that line um, corners radius uh, I'm going to put one one done right so here's my part now I want to come in and I'm going to go over to tooling I'm going to select settings and I'm going to make sure I've got some tooling set up on my pens, right? So I've got a rolling offset here. So I'm going to use this as a rolling offset. So for my rolling offset, it's using a, a pen 4, right, uh, 14. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to click in the properties over in drafting. Click in the properties, change this to 14, right? And then I'm going to do 13 for a flare tool. I want to flare this out. And then I want to do <clears throat> 8 for a rolling rib. Right. So now when I come into tooling mode, right, you can see those patterns there. Let's check the geometry. It's saying the geometry is not close because of the pen color. So I'm just going to quickly, when you run into that um, error right there, all you need to do is come up here, machine configuration, and you're going to select your pen, and I'm going to put it here after 13. I'm going to hit space and put pen 14 on there. Hit OK. So now when I jump over to that, that's a solid part. Everything is done. We're good to go, right? So now I can come in and I can tool this. Okay, so we got an error because there's nothing on here. Here's my uh, offset wheel. So it's going to put an offset in the sheet metal part. It's going to punch this hole out, right? So I don't want to punch that hole out. I want to do a few things different. So I'm going to take the tooling off there. And first off, we're going to make sure we've got some tools. So Tool Library Editor, if I select this, it unselects everything, and I'm just going to go Wheel. So here's all my wheel tools, right? So my wheel tools look like they're supposed to. A rolling rib looks like a rolling rib. A rolling offset looks like a rolling offset. And so forth, my flare tool. And here's a cool one, a logo tool, uh, tool wheel right so we've got those tools in there so now I'm going to come in here and we'll go back into uh, tooling we'll go back to settings and I'm going to set up the pen so if we go to pen so blue here I need to select a wheel tool and I was going to do a flare on that one so I'm going to hit that you can see it selects my flare tool that's saved in there uh, the rolling offsets good now let's go ahead and do pen number eight now uh, leave that there 
I'm going to select the rolling rib tool, right? I'm just going to save the settings. And I can also save it to the manufacturing ba database for that material. Right? So anytime I run that material, it's already got that in there. So now when I go to tool this guy, I'll be in tooling. I can set it automatic tooling. You see it's done my flare. It's done my rolling rib. It's done my offset. It's punched the holes. Okay? So that's, that's how you assign tooling and different operations to your geometry okay so in here when you come in here you go to create a wheel tool it's pretty simple you just come in here okay I'm gonna add a tool I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna select a wheel tool I'm gonna give it a number so let me back out of here for a minute just turn those ones on that way I can see what numbers I have here so I got 775, 776, 777 I might as well do 778 right I'm going to come down here and select the wheel tool right uh, what kind of wheel tool was it? a knurl, a logo, a shear, a pincher uh, Let's see. What one? We got a rib tool. Uh, roll a ball offset. There's still a nail, right? So we'll give this one a size here. I'm just going to 0.50. Um, rolling nail tool. Okay, that's fine. Load at zero, load at 90. Use an auto tooling, hit OK. Do you want to create a symbol for this tool? You say yes. And now you can see it's created a little symbol for a nail tool, right? So now we've got a rolling nail. That's how easy it is to create these tools. And they actually look like the tool, right? So now we should be go, yes. And you're done. So thanks for watching like and subscribe if you have any questions let me know leave a comment but remember uh, if you're a customer and you're using Radan and you're looking for support go to radan.com to the customer portal page and you can log a case in there and one of the guys will help you right so make sure you reach out to the support guys and I'll see you out there have a safe week and remember we're going to have a bonus video on Tuesday to do with automation and part picking for punching machines with loaders and unloaders. Thank you. Have a great day.